Now we all know Sony to be one of the top gaming companies this generation with their Sony PS5 that's been outselling the competition more or less, dropping huge bangers like Final Fantasy 16, Ghost of Tsushima, of course Marvel Spider-Man 2, Horizon Zero Dawn, and you'd think with all these banging exclusive games and all these hype releases on the PlayStation 5 that they would be profitable, right? Well, I got a story here for you today. I don't know how surprised you're going to be, but before we get into it, I'd just really like if you could smash that like button and hit that subscribe bell because we will be dropping a whole lot more videos coming up in the future. I just really appreciate it, so let's get right into it. So if you're comparing the Xbox to PS5 sales, the PlayStation 5 is outselling them 3 to 1, selling 22.5 million units compared to Xbox 7.6 million units over the last fiscal year. And it really begs the question, like you would think Sony would be over here Scrooge McDuckin' it, having a whole bunch of cash on hand to do what they have to do but it seems that Sony might not be as profitable as we may think because it would seem they're getting a massive backlash because after the last report at their investors call where they cut the forecast for units that's going to be sold within the next fiscal year from 25 million units to 21 million and they said that they're going to have a gradual decline in unit sales in the next fiscal year and that news doesn't seem to have sit well with these investors as their stock has plunged 10 billion dollars after the ps5 sales cut now while that could be very concerning for many reasons the cnbc article says that the bigger issue is that it's near a decade low games margin so in a nutshell this means that the money that they're putting out to make all these high-end AAA exclusive games on the PlayStation 5, they aren't recouping as much or they're not gain gaining as much revenue as they used to from the titles they used to put out within the past 10 years. It says here on the CNBC article that analysts were watching another key metric, the operating margin in the gaming business, which came in just under 6% for the December quarter in 2023. By contrast, Sony's operating margin was more than 9% in December of quarter 2022. So that's more than a 33 and a third percent drop off in operating margin and profits that the company is getting. And I'm not sure how that's happening as they are raising prices in Sony's PlayStation subscriptions, the plus, the extra, they got the premium. They've also raised games across the board from 60 to 70, so I'm sure they get a little bit more kickback off of those game sales as well. So margins has dropped a drastic amount. And also coupling this with the news that PlayStation said it won't have any major first party releases before March 2025, which is more than a year away. And I could start to understand why gamers around the world may be a bit sad or a bit sour off this news because it's not any good news at all. If Sony's operating margin is so low, they're going to just start trying to raise prices on other things to get you know their games more profitable get their company back on track and that's not going to be too great for the end consumer honestly at the end of the day and taking a step back looking at sony as a whole company sony has had a bunch of major products in a whole bunch of different industries sony has had tvs laptops all types of things you name it but we don't see Sony products much these days and their phone division is actually going through the ringer. So I think Sony might be in a bad position overall if PlayStation brand starts to lose its luster, it starts to lose its strength, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, I think this is a bad look and Sony's gonna need to do something to fix this. And Sony actually said this themselves where the PlayStation chairman and Sony president Hiroki Totoki wants the company to be aggressive when it comes to improving the game's division profits margins, which he says could be partially achieved with a greater focus on bringing first party games to PC. And while this is all well and fine, starting off with bringing games to PC seems like a logical thing to do in his position but what else are they gonna do moving forward after they take this first step he didn't go into much detail we don't know as consumers we obviously want our high-end games at a good price we don't want stuff to start raising even more than it it has 
Moving back to the CNBC article, Sirkan Toto, CEO and founder of Tokyo-based games consultancy CanCan Can Games, said that he believed hardware production costs have actually come down since the PlayStation 5 is more than three years old and Sony would have better economies of scale by this time. He said, part of the reason why margins are being squeezed more recently is that software production costs have been raising. Spider-Man 2, which came out last year and produced by Sony-owned Insomniac Games, cost around $300 million to make, according to gaming websites Kotaku, citing an internal presentation that was leaked after ransomware group hacked the company. So these budgets seem to have a significant impact on their gaming margin over time, he said. And Sony uh, Insomniac Group did not respond to any comments on this. So 300 million to produce a huge game like this, which is a single player game, a non multiplayer game, not a live service. It isn't really bringing in revenue daily like a live service would. It's just a single player game. You beat it and you're done with it. That's a whole lot of money to invest in games like this. And that's why single player games and uh, these types of exclusive single player first party games may go a bit scarce even after March 2, 2025 when they release games first party again because they're just gonna focus on live service man and there's too many live service games as it is already so I'm not sure how the gaming market is gonna go there's, there's a real debate on if it's gonna have a whole crash or not I'm really trying to be optimistic about it all. So yeah, guys, like basically the margins are being squeezed and Sony is going to have to do something to work on this effectively. It's not like Sony is going to go broke or anything overnight. This is uh, something that could be worked on, I hope. But honestly, it looks like production on the PS5 is about to slow down. They said it's going off over in the latter half of the console life. So. I don't know what to expect when it comes to the PlayStation 5 moving forward, but I will not be expecting any first party games because they're not bringing out any this year. I gotta wait an entire year and I hope GTA 6 does not get delayed in any way. We know they love to delay those big games, but we'll see what happens guys. You let me know what uh, you think in the comments down below. I really appreciate you clicking on this video. And of course, clicking that like and subscribe button. Like, if you reach this point in the video, you might as well. You probably, I probably have some other videos you like. And if I don't, drop it down in the comments below. I'm gonna make the video because honestly, I've been looking for a new video ideas. So I'd like to hear what you guys think about that. And of course, let me know what you think about what's happening with Sony, their whole uh, financial woes, if you wanna call it that. But yeah, a stock plunge of $10 billion. That's crazy. Anyways, guys, have a great one, and I'm out. And they actually said it themselves, where the Sony president and PlayStation chairman, Hiro Hiroki, took to- Oh, fuck.